My name is Mei Yi. I'm an instructor at Sheila Kelly's S Factor Studio in Manhattan, New York. I've been doing this movement for five years now, and it's a movement that combines ballet, Pilates, striptease, and pole dancing. We have a website where you can get more information, and that's www.sfactor.com. And I'm here today to talk to you about pole dancing. I want to show you how to do a basic inversion on the pole. Be sure though that you've been doing other movements to build up your strength for this. You want to be able to hold your body weight up with just your arms before attempting this. And I don't want you to try this on your own. Be sure you have someone spotting you who's watching you as you're doing this and there to catch you in case you start falling. Let's get started. You're gonna bring the hand that's closest to the pole. Take a grasp right by your eyes. Your other hand, your palm's facing you and you're grasping the pole above your head. We're just gonna practice the movement of tipping your hips up first. You're gonna step in with your right foot as you tilt your hips up, bend your left thigh. So just practice that motion of tilting your hips up. That's the motion that's gonna take you into the inversion. Once you invert and your hips are up, then you're gonna bring your left leg in front of the pole. Once you're up there, you'll bring the other leg behind and squeeze the pole between your legs. Okay, so you're ready. Here we go, let's set our hands. Be back a little bit behind the pole. As you step in, tilt your hips up, bring your left leg in front of the pole, cross your other leg behind. And then you'll start to straighten your upper body. You can slide your hands down a little bit between your legs as you continue to squeeze between your thighs onto the pole. You relax your upper body. Imagine a snake slithering down. That's what you're doing. And as your head comes right above the ground, you'll tuck your chin into your chest and place one bone at a time, your neck down your spine. When you're first trying to invert, you're probably gonna be tempted to kick vigorously. Try to take that out of the trick eventually. You wanna eventually pull up with control and slowly, because it's, it's more beautiful to see it that way, and also it's less jarring for your body. You can pull up slowly without kicking. That would be great. Okay, see you later. Ha, 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 ha.